All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. I'm getting ready to play a video for you. It's a very short video, but I will tell you this. When I watch this video, it makes me feel angered. It makes me feel very anxious. I feel for the individual who is being accosted in this video. Before we get too far into it, let me play it and reserve your thoughts and then put in the comments down below of how this video makes you feel. Not necessarily what you would do, but how it makes you feel. Here we go. When I watch the video, I see someone who is being attacked. As a matter of fact, it almost feel like my life was endangered. If somebody is within a six foot radius of my personal being, I go into a hyper sense of security, especially if my family is nearby. If I was sitting at a diner and the individuals came up and threatened to do the things that they were doing, as a matter of fact, getting into my personal space is a threat. And I can see, I conceive of it as a threat. I don't know if that's the correct word. But if I had my family there, I would be extremely worried. And the problem also, the problem I have is it was nothing but a photo op. If you see all the individuals that are sitting around with their cameras, taking pictures as this, these little girls and, these, and this one guy get up in the face with their fist up. It's disgusting. And it doesn't serve the purpose by any means. And I know there's people out there that don't want me to touch on these subjects, but guess what? This video and what's happening right now in this world gets me concerned. There are individuals out there who are now running around with ARs during these riots. And the problem is that there are certain individuals who say they're going to kick their ass. Well, guess what? If you try to attack somebody with a firearm, then they are within their rights to go ahead and utilize that firearm to protect themselves. And that's what happened up in Kenosha. Things are getting way out of hand. So first of all, I want you to tell me how that video made you feel. Then secondly, if you're up to it, you don't have to. Tell me what you have done. Now, I know what I would have done, and I've consulted with a couple of my friends who are into law enforcement, and I think the first step would be to try to leave. If you try to leave, and then they stop you and they are in your way, then you are certainly being threatened. At that point, you have to take it into your hands. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what I would do. But I would try to do everything I could to de-escalate the situation. And that's the problem. These individuals who are doing this, they're not a good representative of the cause and what they're doing. And I'm not going to say Black Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter, or anything else. I'm talking about this specific subject right here. People who don't have a clue as to what they are doing, they are violating your right of freedom by being in your face and threatening you until you raise your hand in a fist. But what I'm getting at, ladies and gentlemen, is that these cats don't understand what they're messing with. An angry beast is about to awaken. And when that happens, this country is going to be in such turmoil, it's going to be a sad, sad day. And I don't want to see that happen. But these individuals have to realize that sitting behind a keyboard in mom and daddy's basement is not a real world. And that when people want to defend their properties, Guess what? We will defend our properties and we will do it as we see fit. People going into residential areas and screaming at folks to come out of their house. You're going to do it to the wrong person. And then that person is going to do what they have to do. And then again, you, the individuals who are screaming and hollering to come out of the house, you will be the victim. And that's all they are. They're victims of their own minds. So let me know what your thoughts are down below. This is a serious video. I've watched this stuff over and over again, and we are all getting sick and tired of it. Let's go to Boy32.
Sport red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom's not free. Support the 99.9% .9 of the guys out there who are doing their job. Bad apples. You can't associate an entire organization from one bad apple. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support. Man, I'm, yeah, I've already done that. I'm out here. Y'all be good. That's a serious video.